Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your friendly neighborhood Manti here, and today I'm going to be talking about opening up files and websites with Windows Batch Scripting. So this is going to be a short yet very useful tutorial, so just stick along. So anyways, you do open stuff up using the start command, so start. And the first thing I'm going to show you is how to open up web addresses, so start, then just a web address, so... HTTP, then I'm going to go to Google, if I can type it correctly, there we go. So I'm just going to pause my program and we can see if anything has been written out onto the screen. So what this is going to do is open up the web address you have here in your default web browser. So I'm going to open this up. Now I know a lot of you are probably like, why do you have Internet Explorer? You know, Internet Explorer sucks. And I agree, Internet Explorer does suck. Well, I'm currently running Windows on Boot Camp, and I don't have a giant hard drive, so I don't have a lot of space. Also, I don't use my Windows partition that much, so that's why I'm using Internet Explorer right now. I recommend you have Google Chrome, but, you know, like I said, space and other reasons. So please don't send me tons of nasty PMs like, why are you using Internet Explorer? Internet Explorer sucks, because I know. Anyways... Moving on, as you can see, nothing has been printed out here, so it's just opening up web addresses. So, say you want to open up a file. Well, you just put the directory to the file here, so I'm just going to, what? Create a new file in my C drive, I guess, or C. Blah, blah, blah. I guess proving my point with Bootcamp, then Macintosh HD. Anyways, I have a test, no, excellent, I actually have something here. So, I want to open up this test document, and we have some test text in it. So, the path to this is C test, so I'm just going to copy this, paste it, and then we have slash test.txt, which is this text file over here. So, I'm just going to pause the program, and we're going to save this, open it up. As I missed. Anyways, we see our test file is open, so I guess we can just edit it. So, this is some different test text and let's just save it close out of this and we can see nothing's been written out over here close this so let's just open this up again and it opens up our t same test file so it only works with files um, also I guess you can do directories I think let me see Damn. Well, you can open up directories, too. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, well. Anyways, I guess you can open up directories. So, that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. See you next time.